Let's find the derivative of logarithmic function. And the derivative of logarithmic function requires new sets of formula. So here we have the derivative of logarithm of x base a and the derivative of ln x, which is for the derivative of logarithm of x base a, it's equal to 1 over x ln a. And for the natural logarithm of x, the derivative will simply be 1 over x. Now, not only that you need to remember the new sets of formula for the logarithmic function, you also need to remember how to expand logarithm. So we had three expansions. We have uh, expansions for a over b, expansions for a times b, and the expansion when you have an exponent. So you have logarithm of a minus logarithm of b. We have logarithm of a plus logarithm of b for this type of expansion. And we have n times logarithm of a if you have an exponential or exponent with a. Now let's use the logarithmic function or the derivative of the logarithmic function in this example. So with our first function, let's find the derivative of logarithm of 5x base 3. So f prime of x is equal to the derivative of logarithm of 5x base 3 with respect to x. And in this case, we are going to use the formula, uh, the new set of formula that we have for logarithm, and we'll find the derivative of u, which is... 5. So u is 5x and your du is 5. So every time you do um, derivatives for trigonometry or trigonometric function or inverse trig function or for logarithm and ln, you always have your u and du. So here we have 5x for u and du is 5. Now, going back to our derivative, f prime of x is simply 1 over x ln, which is the base, or ln a. So we have 1 over 5x, which is your x, ln of 3, which is your base, times the derivative of u. So this derivative is already acceptable. You just need to simplify it further so that you can find f prime of x equal to 5 all over 5x ln 3. Now this constant right, or the coefficient right here for x and this number for your numerator, you can still cancel them so we can further simplify it as 1 over x ln 3. Now on our second example, we have the function logarithm of 2 plus sine x. So we'll still use our formula for logarithm or derivative of logarithm. So I have here, since I'm looking for the derivative of y, we have dy over dx equals the derivative of logarithm of 2 plus sine x with respect to x. So we'll use the formula and we'll use our u because we're de deriving or finding the derivative of the logarithm. So u will be 2 plus sine x and du will be cosine x. And using the derivative rule for logarithm, we have 1 over 2 plus sine x times ln 10 times the derivative of u, which is cosine x. Now, how did we get 10 for our ln here? We know that every time you have a logarithm and there's no base in your logarithm, it's automatic that the base of that logarithmic function is 10. That's why in our derivative, we have ln 10. To further simplify dy dx, we can put cosine x to your numerator. So you'll have cosine x all over 2 plus sine x times ln 10. On our third example, we're using a function in terms of ln or natural logarithm. So f of x is equal to ln of cosine 3x. And by using the formula for the derivative of ln, d dx of ln cosine 3x, which we have u, which is cosine 3x, and derivative of u is negative 3 sine 3x. Using the formula, Derivative of ln x is simply 1 over x. That's why we have 1 over cosine 3x as our derivative for ln x. And the derivative of u, which is negative 3 sine 3x, will still be included. And to simplify your derivative, f prime of x is simply negative 3 sine 3x all over cosine 3x.